Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Olivia and I'm a type 1 diabetic of about 20 years now. And I have been a Dexcom user for just about a few years. And today I wanted to do a video to show you guys how to set up the Dexcom with your Omnipod because it can be quite confusing. And this is assuming you guys already know how to set up the Dexcom on your own with your own transmitter. I personally use my iPhone, so it's hard for me to show on video how to set up the Dexcom because it's already associated with my iPhone, which I am filming on. But I did want to take the time to show you how I set up my Dexcom with Omnipod because if you haven't heard, Omnipod directly correlates with your Dexcom to give you the best glucose readings and to also give you the best insulin dosages. So it's very important that they are meshed together and working properly. So I just put my new Dexcom on right here. It was on here, so I put the alcohol swab, cleaned my arm, put that new one on, and right now I'm in sensor warm-up stage through my iPhone, but I need to set it up on my Omnipod receiver so that way it gets the best readings. As you can see, my sugar was last 168 before I turned off the sensor. So what you're going to do right here is you're gonna go in and go into pod, sorry, you're going to go in and go into manage sensor. So it shows you a little picture, picture of the Dexcom and you're going to hit delete and switch mode. It's going to ask you to switch mode. Right now it's automatically in automated mode just because that means that it's directly communicating with the pod and the sensor, but you don't want that to do that right now. So delete and it's it deleted the pod. So there's now no association it's not connected from pod to sensor. So now I need there to be a connection. So I'm gonna go back in to manage sensor, like I did before, and hit add new, which is the bottom right corner. And it's going to ask you if you want to take a picture, but personally, I never do the picture. I just feel like there's, there can be a lot of fault in that. But if you can see, there are numbers listed right here that you can put into your receiver to get the same results. And that's what I'm gonna do. So enter, I'm gonna, choose enter code manually. And it's gonna ask for the four digits up top, which are the four big numbers, which is, I'll put that in, 6383. Bam, save, confirm. And now it's gonna ask you for a longer code. It's gonna ask you for the code right here that starts with two, one in parentheses. It is that middle long code. So, seven, seven, zero six nine oh five four six five oh five and the check and then hit save now you want to confirm that the number is correct which it is and now it's communicating with the pod and now you can see on there that it's connecting to sensor one of the the one of the for the few first few times when i set up my pod to correlate with my sensor. I kept forgetting this next step. So let me just tell you guys, make sure after you put your sensor on, you go into switch mode and go down to the bottom right and switch it back to automated mode. Because I had assumed that it would automatically switch on its own, but it does not. So that is a little tip to make sure you are switching to automated mode. Otherwise the pod and the Dexcom will not directly correlate and communicate as well as it could. So learn from my mistakes, but I hope that video was a little bit useful for you. I know I had trouble when I first got the pod communicating the Dexcom to the pod because you change Dexcom every 10 days. So every 10 days you have to do that step into your receiver. Hope this video found you well. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. If you wanna see more diabetic content just like this, Make sure, sure, yeah, make sure you subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. And by the way, I'm so sorry. It is super, super late in the day. Changing my Dexcom way too late in the day, exhausted. So you're getting a subpar video, but still hope that you found it useful. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.